Resident Evil. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions, but there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance. My last escape. September 28th, Daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow... I'm still alive. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there! How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't gonna be any rescue. We have to get out of here! No! I'm not going anywhere! I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters! Now leave me alone!
Someone doing something about this. I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after Stars members. There's no escape.
Hey. Where... where am I? Relax. You're fine. If you say so, but my head feels like it's about to explode. Anyway, name's Carlos. Glad to meet you, lady. Jill. Alpha Team? RPD STARS unit. Who do you represent? STARS? I see. Well, I'm a member of the Biohazard Countermeasure Force, sent by Umbrella Incorporated. Sent by Umbrella? Hey, don't look at me like that. What did I say? Do you have a problem? Oh no. It's him! I need to ask you something. Why did Umbrella send your team here? Our mission is to rescue the civilians. How kind of you. Considering Umbrella caused all this in the first place, those liars! Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the Master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? No time for talking. If you can believe me, then join us. Think about it! Thank <laughs> you. 
You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? Oh, this looks bad. Uh, they're coming! Get ready! Uh, uh, fire! Fire! Stay together! Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is gonna be okay. No. Don't come any closer. Stay away. So Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Jill, put this on.
Jill! Hey, the zombies are getting restless. I know. I can hear them. What's going on? Jill! What's wrong? They're coming! They must have sniffed us out! They know we're here! Hey, calm down! Any objections to my playing hero this time? What are you doing? Carlos! <laughs> Relax. I'm not dead yet. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, that hero stuff is harder than it looks. Ouch, my ears are ringing. We both should be deaf by now. Okay, I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. Thank <laughs> you. 
you do? I had no choice. He was about to turn into a zombie. It would have been a threat, so I eliminated it. But he was still conscious, wasn't he? He was as good as dead. And it took fewer bullets to kill him now than it would have if he had transformed. Not now, I'm busy. Oh, my God. 
It looks like we're ready to go. Here, take this. Okay. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. It's looking good.
Carlos, I don't believe it. You're alive. I'm not sure how we're gonna get out of this town. What are you talking about? We made it! You don't get it. They have no intention of letting us make it back alive. Do you really think we can trust their great evacuation plan? Huh, it's just a piece of paper. But we don't have any other choice than to trust them right now. No, if we're gonna die, then we should get to choose when it happens. So that's it then, huh? You're giving up? No. I just... I can't handle it.
October 1st, night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. Uh, uh, uh. Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. 
I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. If I turn into a zombie, don't hesitate. I want your word that you'll kill me. Thank <laughs> you. 
There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. However... Nikolai? You're still alive? You saw what happened. What's going on? I'm one of the supervisors. That's all you need to know. Wait!
Nikolai is still alive. Nikolai? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know how, but I do know that he is our enemy. Remember, don't trust him. Thank <laughs> you. 
All supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors return immediately. Over. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. Ah! Another mutant!
What's going on? Whoa!
Listen very carefully. They're planning on launching a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. The explosion will be powerful enough to destroy everything. Are you sure about that? Positive. I heard it straight from a supervisor. They'll go this far to cover their tracks? Come on, we have to hurry. There isn't much time left.
You're still wandering around. Nikolai? So, you want to get out of here alone? Is that your plan? I made certain none of the other supervisors survived. 
Since I'll be the only one who knows what really happened, I'll have more bargaining power when it comes to discussing my bonus. Then why kill me? I'm not on their payroll. They do what you eliminated for reasons of their own. The amount is modest, but there is a reward to be claimed upon the confirmation of your death. That's great. Except I have no intention of contributing to your retirement. Yeah. <laughs> 
All personnel, evacuate immediately. Transmission, respond immediately. I'm here. What's up? I got us a ride. The chopper engines are running and ready to go. On my way. The city's about to become ground zero. Hurry up! And don't forget to take that device with you. What does it do? That device tracks the distance of the approaching missile. Make sure you bring it with you. Now listen to me. Don't give up. 
We're both gonna survive this. Just get over here! Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Emergency level D. All personnel evacuate immediately. system.
system overheating. Enter cooldown mode. It's here! It's time to go! President and the Federal Council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The President and Federal Council have ruled that the Backless Terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports have the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City.